Welcome back to part two of my install uh, of the Turbo 2 uh, kit for the 2008-2012 Nissan Pathfinder. Uh, if you did not see part one, go back and check that out. Uh, I showed the parts uh, that I had used to install the stereo. I did not go through the install uh, on a video as it was my first time doing that. and. Uh, there are some videos out there on how to get your stereo and screen out um, So that's pretty straightforward uh, This was a long install it took uh, I started About nine o'clock this morning and Let's take a look at the Setup here it is 3 30 now, so it does take a long time to get this done. Now, if you want to take a look at it right now. Um, so here we have the new setup. The new buttons. The screen, the, the factory original screen uh, still looks the same. Everything seems to be working okay. It is a very long install. It is uh, probably a more skilled. It's not, I would say, not for a beginner. Um, the kit does come with lots of brackets that you will need to figure out which ones work for your vehicle, whether it's the Pathfinder or the Armada. Um, and as most of the videos you can find show you how to take the this pops off, uh, it just pulls straight up. Uh, and you gotta take the knob off. Uh, so this chrome piece slides down. Then there's a little pin in there. And then you pull the shift lever knob off. Then this piece here, uh, you pull up on the base here. So you pull up here. And once that's popped loose, uh, then you pull forward to get that off. Um, you will have to unplug the four-wheel drive uh, plug and the VDC plug. Um, I also put uh, a USB port in. Uh, that's for the stereo and also for Apple CarPlay. Um, so you need that to, to do that. The stereo did come with the USB cable to do that. Um, I just wanted a solid mount uh, port. So you can buy those on Amazon couple bucks <coughs> everything seems to work fairly decent the one thing that I noticed does not work at this point is if we come over here to this passenger side temperature control um, it does nothing um, so that's not to me that's not important if that's the only thing that doesn't work um, this this does control the temperature so there's not a dual climate anymore. Um, if we come over here to uh, settings, you know, it takes you down through some different settings in here. You'll pick your vehicle. Uh, so if we would go, if you get it set up, you go to here and you'll see that it has some uh, different settings than what's on the factory one. Um, you have to turn the camera input on. You have to select your, select your vehicle. Uh, some of those other settings. Uh, the status button is kind of like the home screen now. It takes you back to this screen here. The dimmer uh, up and down day and night switch do work. Uh, this unmarked switch, what I found that does is it just turns the screen off. Um, so that's kind of neat. I, I suppose it's intended. It doesn't say anything, but um, you, know, you don't always need to look at that screen and at night that's one less set of lights you have coming back at you. So I think that's actually pretty neat if it was intended to do that. Uh, the buttons feel good. I mean, they don't, it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, so it definitely uh, feels like a quality kit. There are some gaps, um, very little gaps, uh, you know, around these openings can't really notice them when it's put together and in. Uh, you can notice it a little more as you're putting it together, but once it's in place, 
I don't think you're going to see or be bothered by that. Um, so let's take a look at what we took out. So I just put everything back in the box. Uh, if I ever sell the vehicle, I probably won't take my head unit out. Um, so this is what you're left with then, the, the extra stuff that came with the kit um, that you don't need. These are the extra brackets that uh, I'm assuming are for the Armada or maybe a different style uh, stereo and stuff that also supports uh, my factory stereo was not the Bose head unit, but it does support that. That's what this wiring harness is for and possibly what some of these other brackets are for. Um, you will have removed uh, this guy. Um, it's fairly straightforward when it's in the, the holder. You just have these uh, Torx heads that you have to take out. Uh, and of course, unplug all the plugs and then this guy just comes right out. Uh, of course, you'll have the, also these will be removed then. Same thing, there's just uh, three, three Torx heads and then these come right in. Uh, and then of course you have removed your factory uh, stereo unit, the CD player, of course I unplugged everything in the back. Um, you don't use uh, these mounts here, it actually comes with new plastic brackets. I don't care for that too much, but that's what it came with. I'm assuming to help everything fit back in place. Uh, so that all works. Uh, I also did install the Maestro RR. That was easy enough to get in. It was just a couple wires. Uh, we can take a look at what functionality this gives me over and above the uh, just regular steering wheel controls. Uh, with the Metra kit, uh, I actually did not do the update once I got it hooked up. Uh, I found that I had it hooked up and everything seemed like it was working properly. Uh, so I did not want to mess with that. So I did not update it uh, in the future if uh, for some reason I feel like it needs to be updated or if it starts being glitchy then I will, uh, I will do that update. Um, it's nice. All of the wires uh, pretty much behind right in here in the back uh, so I think going forward uh, to do any updates to it uh, or anything I don't have to pull this whole uh, face off I think I just can pull this guy out and get to everything that I'll need to get to <laughs> uh, so going into the maestro RR functions um, again you have to have a stereo that's compatible with that um, that the Maestro comes with its, uh, wi its own wiring harnesses. Uh, this stereo uh, had the plug-in for it in the back, so it was just running a couple wires. Uh, depending on your vehicle and the year and the options, you may have more functionality or less than I do. Uh, so I got those plugged in, I plugged into the back of the stereo. Uh, so that gives me the steering wheel controls, uh, just over here mostly. That are, you know are very useful to have and mainly I use the volume so I did want to retain retain that I didn't want to lose that uh, function um, so you know that is still still an option here we'll just go to radio real quick and you see that that still works um, so that's great uh, if I press uh, what used to be the power button, now this is no longer the power button, but if I press the power button, uh, then that takes me to uh, gauges. So then uh, you wire this Maestro RR into uh, your, some of the wires on your OBD2 connector, and then you're able to basically have some of these gauges, some more useful than others. Obviously miles per hour and then the tack and everything are already, already on the main dash. Um, fuel percentage uh, I thought was different it gives you you know a range I think it probably has to to go through some setup before it's able to do that um, but there are a selection of gauges that you can choose um, throttle coolant intake temperature 
uh, zero to 60. But then there, are, there also is just a list you can program each gauge to do something differently. And if your car has more functionality, you may have more uh, more gauge availability. Um, you also have some things over here. It is supposed to be able to read codes. I mean, I didn't have any, so I, I don't know if maybe this, if a code does pop up, then it'll give you the option to go in here. Um, it doesn't do anything right now. Maybe that's not part of the functionality for me. Uh, so it was an awesome, uh, awesome upgrade in my opinion. Uh, I wanted to be able to do CarPlay and, and Bluetooth um, just have those abilities to do that. Now I do, um, so that's great. It is, again, very time consuming to do that. So, you know, plan for a day so that you're not stressing yourself out or, or you know, you, you don't rush to get it done. It's just very time consuming and you just take it step by step. The instructions are pretty good. For the most part, I mean, there are some parts that are a little vague, but I would say definitely read through the instructions a couple of times before you get even get started. Um, taking everything apart is the easy part. Then it's just making sure you get everything, you know, wired up and back together the way that it's supposed to be uh, to be able to do all of that. Uh, the backup camera does still work, uh, as you can see. There were some. Uh, some bad reviews as far as that not working and the screen going uh, black. I haven't had any problems. You know, like I said, I just it just got done. I've been messing around with it for a little bit here, but I've had no problems at this point. Um, everything seems to work uh, well enough for me. Like I said, except for uh, except for this guy, which does not uh, really matter to me. I didn't use the dual uh, climate to begin with so this one working is enough for me um, so if you have any questions you know feel free to ask I can give you you know I can answer any questions you have about you know specifics on the install if you need me to uh, again I just didn't see when I was looking to do this there was nothing out there uh, like this for me or even any advice or uh, besides reading the comments on Amazon or the metro site and then like i said the metro video which um, didn't go over a whole lot of stuff in details um, so I, this has been successful for me if something should change if something goes wrong uh, if the you know if stops working properly then i will certainly update uh, this video and, and and let people know that because i don't want uh, i don't want people to buy something that is going to give them more headaches than it is anything else unfortunately you know there are no other real options that i found looking for this um, out there to do this and maintain uh, kind of the system information or settings and upgrade your stereo at the same time you know there's a lot of... it's just not out there i just didn't find anything else if there is something else you found that it works Feel free to comment that in the below also to help anybody else that's, that's looking for this. Um, there's a lot of pathfinders out there. I, I can't believe that you know nobody's upgraded their stereo or, or wanted to yet and um, did any videos or anything like that on it. So uh, thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.